So my name is Dana, and these are my partners, Lindsay and Phil, and we're from the arsenic removal team. A very quick overview, naturally occurring arsenic contaminates groundwater in Nepal to levels up to 200 parts per billion. So our goal was to develop a very simple and inexpensive device to bring water concentrations to an arsenic level of below 10 parts per billion, which is the World Health Organization standard. Our sponsor is Village Tech Solutions. One of their most recent projects in Nepal was a pedal-powered uh, battery system, and they wanted us to see how we could use that electrical power in a new way to address the arsenic issue, which is why we chose electrocoagulation. Our testing setup was three buckets. Each test was run with 15 liter volumes of tap water. They were spiked to 200 parts per million arsenic-3, which is the harder to remove compound of arsenic. Arsenic was reduced well below one part per billion, uh, well below the WHO standard in all the tests because um, we weren't expecting the filter to work uh, that well. The battery that we would use in the final uh, project in Nepal would be that provided by Village Tech Solutions. When you were to run 100 milligrams iron dosage uh, or less, hopefully when the system was optimized, that would allow 300 liters of water to be filtered under one charge. So the purpose of our, of our capstone design sequence is to give the students an opportunity to apply all the science and math uh, techniques and theory that they've learned over the last four or five years to a real world problem. And this was such the case as sponsored by David Sauerwein and Village Tech Solutions. And the students were in a really neat project in which they got to use chemical engineering, electrical engineering, and also some human factors engineering to solve their problem. And so what you see is a final product that looks very simple, and yet all the background that went into it is very sophisticated, including a very detailed chemical model that went into the initial theory before anything was ever built, and then also quite a good deal of human factors engineering that went into the instruction manual, which has no words on it, only pictures, and yet anybody could pick this instruction manual up and actually build the device all the way through to the electrical engineering which allowed them to prove that this six volt battery which is uh, very available in Nepal can be used for the device and it can be used over and over again between recharges. This, the work by this arsenic team was absolutely outstanding. They not only came up with an extraordinary solution but the investigation they did beforehand was quite thorough, good due diligence. And this technology has already been specced into one of the proposals going to USAID by a large uh, village development program in Nepal. So very encouraging, we're making progress. Now that we have this, uh, we in VTS are going to do our best to bring the technology to the market. And we hope that in doing this, it will give the student team and will give all of you supporters for uh, Thayer School uh, some real satisfaction knowing that the work that you did has made a real difference. Thanks.